a white belt's guide to sweeping from the open guard. The principles and two techniques you need to know to get it done on the mats. Let's have a look. Hey guys, Professor Tom, I'm here with Nathan. We're gonna have a look today at one of my favorite ways to uh, teach people how to sweep from the open guard. I mean, here's the thing. The open guard is massive. So, especially with standing opponents, you know, my sweeps can start I like to teach beginners simple principles because with principles you can make a million techniques. So let's have a look at two quick sweeps, break down the principle so you can know them both and even create your own. To sweep someone down that's standing, you need to control an ankle and the corresponding hip. So right ankle, right hip. But that's not enough to make people fall down. Let's try. Hold the ankle, push the hip, he'll step back with his other leg. Okay, so I push this way, his foot comes to the balance. If I push towards the camera, like I pulled his belt here, his foot would hop around. Again, his foot hops around to the point of lost balance. So, we now know we need three elements. Control the base of a lever, normally a heel or Achilles. Push at the top of the lever, normally in the form of a foot in the hip. But now we need to stop this from moving. How can it be done? Hands and legs, all very easy options. Let's have a look at some of the simple ones. You know a back sweep works the same, two ankles, two hips, okay? But we're not here to do that. We're here to look at the option of one ankle, one hip, one hook to control the far leg. This is what I would call a leg hook sweep, okay? This foot stops his foot stepping back. That foot pushes down the end of the lever. This controls the base of the lever. Let's have a look again. So, Kate Britt is up here. Hip, ankle, block the knee. The beauty of this is I can just be playing guard with him, I can be moving him around, and then all I need is one, two, three. Okay, very easy. So, you can be playing guard, you could be shooting triangles, but all you need is one, two, three. And if you practice keeping your foot in the hip, it'll be quite easy. So, one, two, three. Let's now change weapons. So we're gonna change the weapons we use to control those three points on Nathan here. So this is the second sweep I like to teach people, what I would call a, a leg reap sweep. Ankle. Two feet in the hip like I'm water skiing. Now my left foot comes and hamstring curls his ankle. One, two, three. Down he goes. With this one here though guys, don't get up and get your back taken. Either come across to 50-50, okay, or retract your leg and work at passing. Again, let us have a look at combination two. Same principle, different limbs. I'm here, I might be going for this one, it's not working. One, two. As long as I've got one, two, three, he's gonna go down. Again, to 50-50, or to leg retraction and passing. So, let's put another spin on it, just so you know that the options here are unlimited. All your basic open guard sweeps work the same. Ashigaram, look what I'm doing. Base of the lever, top of the lever, and controlling the far leg. Same, okay? Here. 
If I had, say, a foot here or two feet here and I controlled his other foot, same principle. Same principle, same principle. Even here, like this, you can do the same thing with hamstring curling, okay? Blocking the far line here and kicking, okay? So you guys see that the principle is always the same. We must stop a leg from stepping back while controlling the opposite leg's ankle and hip. You guys can start to combine all of your tools for this, all of your weapons, and, and you're gonna start to be able to sweep people like crazy. If all you need is an ankle, hip, and far leg blocked, it, there's so many ways to sweep guys and girls in this sport. So make sure you're doing it, okay? Always be on the lookout for those ankles. Always be on the lookout to push the hip, and of course, to block the leg going back. Okay, so I like to teach my students, I'll show you the drill I teach them, so that they get very proficient at this, okay? So he's standing up, and I play the hot potato drill. So all four of my limbs must change their position every few seconds, okay? So I might start here and go one, two, three, four. Ah, I've got a sweep right here, see? I've got my grips, let's start again. One, two, three, four, Five, six, got to sweep right here. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, got to sweep right here. So, you see, you could count up to whatever you want, but the principle remains the same. Keep changing your weapons, which is a really good way to stay one step ahead of your opponent, and then look for an ankle, a hip, and a block of far leg. It's a very simple concept, and you'll probably develop your favorite combinations in, and your favorite combinations of body controls to actually get these sweeps. But the two we demonstrated at the start, the leg hook sweep and the leg reap sweep, were the first two I learned from here, and they're still the two that I put into the containers of learning for my students first. I still believe they teach the most, they're the easiest to get, and biomechanically, they just work fantastically for guys and girls, big and small. So there you go guys, I hope you have some fun with this. Gi and no gi, they all work great. I hope you guys can get more sweeps because sooner or later your partners will start standing up. At the beginning of white belt, people will like kneel a lot. But as people get more athletic and people uh, get better competitors, they tend to stand a lot. And when they do, you're gonna want those open guard sweeps because person on top is always gonna have a bit of an advantage. So there you go guys, open guard sweeps, I hope you had fun. Don't forget, you can follow me on social media, Instagram. Don't forget to follow our channel, subscribe, get your notifications. We've got new techniques coming out every single week for free. Don't miss out, guys. Happy rolling. I'll see you on the mats.